One blood, one blood, one blood, one blood running to our veins. One blood running to our veins this morning. One blood, one blood. I am back again. I am back again. I am back again. I am a woman under the authority and under the direction and under the leading of the Lord. You know, this morning a while ago, I came on here and, you know, I had a message that, you know, God had given me. And um, I came on here to, to, to bring forth that message. But when you belong to God, you have to follow the leading of the Lord. And after I finished that video a while ago, I heard the Lord saying to me that, you know, I heard the Lord saying to me that, um, he said I should cut off the video. And I did, I, I did because what I came to do, what he led me to do, um, I, I did it. So while I was sitting here just trying to recuperate because God mashed up my plans this morning because he basically mashed up my plan. <laughs> you know what? What I what number the message I came to do, I didn't get to do it. Good morning, classmate Kay and welcome. I did a video already, you know. I did a video already and <laughs> You know, the Holy Spirit did what he had to do there, but I was sitting here, my classmate, as I was, as I was, as I was trying to explain that, you know, I came on here early and God just did what he want to do. I'm a servant and as a servant of God, you know, God's God lead and you have to follow, you know, so I am a woman under authority. And I am a woman under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. I'm a woman under the leadership of God. So, you know, I, 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 I cut off the video because he told me to cut it off. So I did just that. And then I was sitting, I was sitting and then he tell me, um, change your clothes. Change your clothes and go back on. Go back on, go back on. So I am, I am out of obedience. I am here. I am here again. I am here again another time, another season to declare this word that he has placed, to declare this message today, you know, that we should, uh, we should all live as one. We are one. We are one. It's only one blood running through our veins, and that is the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, in society nowadays, everybody... Want to go under the umbrella of religion? They want to go under the umbrella of 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 this man or this woman, you know. And they want to, you know, they want to 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 to, to minister in the in the portfolio that God has set out for them. And you know, in in other words, sometimes you will find that, you know, we as believers, you know, we will we will start to have conflict. We will start to have conflict about, you know, this religion and that religion and this man of God and this woman of God. You know, even in the body of Christ, we have that type of ism and schism where we, 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 we try to, 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 to put down another religion and to build up our next one and to say, follow me here and to follow me there and this and that. But this. Um, today, you know, is one blood, is one blood running through our veins, is one blood running through our veins, is one blood running through our veins, it's no more Greek, it's no more Jew, it's no more male, it's no more female, it's no more bond, it's no more free. But it's one blood running through our veins today. It's one blood running through our bodies. You understand? We need to put those things aside. Cast those things aside. And stop the, 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 and stop the separation. Stop the separation of this and the separation of that. You know, it, 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 it don't make sense. You understand what I'm saying? It don't make sense. 
You understand? It don't make sense. For the time that we are living in, it don't make sense. One go east and one go west. It doesn't make sense. My brothers and my sisters, my beloved, it don't make sense. Let us come together and support each other. You know, there's a song that sings, it says, I need you and you need me. We're all a part of God's body. It says, stand with me and agree with me. It is his will that, ev that every need will be supplied. He says, you are important to me. I need you to survive. No man stands alone. No man is a village. No man is the world. Each one teach one. You understand? So in, in Ephesians chapter 4, it says, Therefore, the prison of the Lord beseech you that he walk worthy of the vocation wherewith he are called. It says, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. You understand? So we have to forbear each other in love today on Facebook. No love lost. You understand? Everybody has a ministry. Everybody has a calling according to that which God has placed in his or her life. You understand what I'm saying? But it is all for the edification of the body of Christ. It's all for soul winning. You understand what I'm saying? I am, I am, I am, you know, it have all kind of conflict going on with the saying. Some people that will say, me not listen to the woman preacher. You know, because it, 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 it is not biblical or whatever. But yet still I can't show me where in the word of God it says that. You understand? It says there is no more male and there is no more female. There is no more bond. There is no more, do you understand? It, 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 God don't God God is not a God of, of, of partiality where the gospel is, is concerned. God is not a God of partiality where his word is concerned. You understand what I'm saying? Facebook is a wide field. You understand? So anybody could come on here. I mean, I don't mean to anybody, but once you're coming to lift up and to pull down the powers of darkness. Then my brothers and sisters, I am with you. I am with you. Let us stop the competition. Let me tell you something. I am not here on Facebook to compete with nobody. All I am here to do is just to try my best to win souls. As God tell me that he shall make us of man so all i come here to do is to just be a fisher of man so that souls can be saved for the kingdom of god you understand that's what it's about that's what it's about you see so endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace you understand what i'm saying it's not a no war it's not no Facebook war. It's not no Facebook likes and comments. It's not about that. You know, but we come here with the with, with my feet shone with the preparation of the gospel of peace. That is what it's about. You understand? I am not on here to compete with nobody. You understand? But we are here to do the work of God. Let us stay focused on that work. Let us stay focused. Let us not be distracted. Let us not be distracted. You understand what I'm saying? And I am, I, and, and I am RE and, and I am I'm recognizing the men and women and the, 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 the woman of God and the men of God that than the pastors and the evangelists, that man, the prophets, you understand of God that may come on here and to do the work of God. Let us work in oneness, please. Please, let us not work against each other. You understand? Let us not fight against each other. Let us spread the love. You understand what I'm saying? Listen to me. Let me tell you something. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have no, no favorites. You understand? I don't have no favorites when it comes on to Facebook or wherever. Once a man of God and a woman of God is preaching the undiluted word of God, and they are they are doing that which God tells them to do. That is all that matters. You understand? Once a man of God and a woman of God is, is doing the work of Almighty God, that is all that should matter. 
You understand? Let us support each other. Let us not bring down each other. I'm begging you, please. I'm begging you, please. Let us not pull down each other. Because the weapons of our warfare is not against each other. God never called us to be against each other. Apostolic against New Testament. And New Testament against, against seven day. And seven day against, against, against Sunday worship. And Sunday worship against this. And this against that. My God Almighty Jesus Christ. And Apostolic against Pentecostal. And Pentecostal against... God, God, never, God never come for that. God never come for that. He never come for that. We don't have time for that. Now is not the time for that. You understand? So I am re in us today. You understand? As ministers. As ministers. We are here to encourage people. We are here to build up people. And to, to break the bonds of wickedness among their lives. That is what we are here for. You understand? We don't love each other. We, we need to love each other. Because if we can't love each other as ministers. Then, then, then it don't make sense. We, we come on here professing Christ. It don't make no sense. You understand what I'm saying? He says, he says there is one. It is one body, and one spirit. Even as you are calling the hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. So God is in all of us. You understand what I'm saying? So let us stop the separation. Let us stop the tearing down and the pulling down, please. Let us stop it. You understand what I'm saying? You don't have no time for that. You understand you don't have no time for that. Pastors, you don't have no time for that. Evangelists, you don't have no time for that. Apostles, you don't have no time for that. Now is the time we need to come together. You understand, my fellow, my fellow beloved brethren, you don't have no time for that. You understand? You don't have no time for that. So let us split away from them things there. Once a man come and profess God, that's all that matters. You understand? Because the Bible says once a man come and he professed that Jesus Christ came and he died and he's sitting by the right hand of God. That's all we need, you know. So even if you feel like, if, even if you feel within yourself that that person or that woman of God or that man of God is not living. Because I don't know why people feel like say, they, can, they, they can live, they can, they can speculate other people's lifestyles. Whether or not. It's for the building up of the body. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended first into the lower parts of the earth he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens and he might all things and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers why did he give it to us for the perf why did he give that to us it's for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ. So it's not no competition. And who get 10,500 this type of views. And who get this views and that views. And who get this amount of likes. And who get this amount of comments. And if that is what is driving you. Then you're doing the wrong type of ministry. You understand? Your room that God, the, the gift that God has placed in you is for the edifying of the body. It's for the edifying of the saints. It's for the building up of the saints. It's for souls to come to Christ. You understand? And I don't know why God would have me to come back here and to reinforce this and to say this. 
You understand? But Facebook is open. YouTube open. You understand? If you feel like you have a calling, come on, flood Facebook with it. People need you. People need your ministry. People need your ministry. You don't have to be slothful and sitting down and sitting down on the sidelines and criticizing. You don't have time for that. You don't have time for that. You understand? You understand? If you feel like God has inside of you and you have something to offer, come on on here. You know what I love about this, this Facebook? I believe that every, everybody has a gift. And every gift has a follower. You must have a follower, even one, somebody. And once you come and you fulfill that one calling and that one assignment, then believe me, your reward, your reward, your reward is sure. It is sure. It is sure. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed is your name, Lord. Your reward is sure. Your reward is sure. You understand? So you, do, you don't have time. It's when you start to, it's when you start to, 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 to do the work of God. When you start to do the work of God. When you start to do the work of God, you don't have time to be watching nobody. You know, you don't have the time. You don't have the time for that. You don't have the time for that. You understand? You don't have the time for that. We need to work together as one. We need to work together as one to complete that one assignment assignment is 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 souls is soul it says still we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the son of god unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every doctrine, every wind of doctrine. You understand? So if the doctrine is about Jesus, blood washed, blood bought, blood filled, spirit filled, you must promote. You understand? I see the other day a man put up a arm. Um, a man put up something on Facebook. He said, um, he said, um, something about Sunday worship and whatnot, whatnot. And I said to myself, I said, people, people really and truly doing that nowadays. People really and truly have time for that nowadays. You understand? It's not about religion. Religion don't care or go heaven. Religion no make get somebody saved. You understand? No religion can save nobody. But it is the blood of Jesus Christ that is what makes the difference. And that is what flows through our veins. You understand? Come on. We need to do better. We need to be do better in the body of Christ. We need to do better as brothers and as sisters. You understand? Hallelujah. We need to do better. Thank you, Jesus. We are one. We are one. We are one. One God. One God. 
One love. One love. Thank you, Jesus. One goal. One goal in this thing. I was listening to a pastor the other day. And what he said, he said, um, he said, your, your, your mouth, this is your mouth, right? This is your teeth and your tongue. And teeth and tongue is in the same mouth. Teeth and tongue in the same mouth. And every now and then you will find the teeth that bite the tongue. You'll find the teeth biting the tongue. But you don't find the tongue running out of your mouth. You don't find tongue running out of your mouth. They need each other to survive. You understand? They need teeth, need tongue, and tongue need teeth. You understand? But they exist in the same mouth. Let us minister and do minister. You understand? Let's stop the competition within the body. Let's stop the competition. Let's stop the competition. Let us encourage each other. Let us let us choose to encourage each other in the Lord. That's what it's about. What happened on the day of Pentecost? It was when they all were in one place and in one accord. That is when the Holy Spirit came down like a mighty rushing wind and shake that place. That is when the, 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 it came down and shaped the place. You understand? If, 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 if it have 50 of us on Facebook, live at the same time, doing exploits of God, just encourage that sister, encourage that brother. Tell them, go ahead. Because they are building up the body. You understand? Don't fight against them. Don't tear them down. You understand? Because it don't make sense. You see him be the loser. Look, the other day, the other day I was home and I was going through oppressing. And when I was going through the pressing, you know, I needed someone to pray with me. And the Holy Spirit just lead me on the on this on this same Facebook here. The Holy Spirit same Facebook. And when I came on, it was sisters, my, my sisters in Christ. I didn't know she's not New Testament like the church. She, she didn't, don't go to the same church that I go. But she's my sister in Christ. And my spirit confirmed that. My spirit confirmed that. And it was through her prayers that I got the deliverance that I needed. You understand? So let us stop this thing. Let us stop this. Me and listening to this one. Me and doing this because of the religion. Because of the title of the church that they might be under. You know, God always confirms to us that we are the church. This is the church. You are the church. I am the church. It's not about the building. Don't let because of the building you don't receive the blessing. Don't let because of the religion that the person is under. I mean, when I say religion, I don't mean like Krishna and them thing there. You must them true prove the works. But if a sister and a brother come in on here and they pushing true through the leading of the Lord, support them, encourage them. If you're a single, if if you're if you're a single, there is singles ministry here on Facebook. If you're a single male, there is singles, mini singles ministry for male here. 
If you're a married person, married couple, come on here and do Facebook Live. Once they're not telling you to go and serve Satan, you're good to go. You're good to go. Once they're coming to edit you, once the edification is on point, then you're good to go. Try the spirit, no problem. Try it. That's not what I'm here, but it's one love. It's one love. It's one God. And it's one blood flow. One blood. And that is Christ. That is the blood of Jesus Christ flowing through. Through us. So my father reminded me. You understand? He reminded me this morning. That is one blood. And that is his shed blood on Calvary. That is for the remission of sins. We're here to edify, to build up. Not to pull down. Much less each other. Let us be in oneness. Let us bind. Let, let, let the love of God bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Let him bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. It's peace and love. Peace and love. Good morning, my cousin Damien. How are you? Long time, cuz. Long time. Long time, cuz. It's one love. It's one love. One love. It's one God. So the Bible tell us that but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head from whom the whole body is fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supports. Just eat up the, 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 they said the head bone connected to the neck bone. And the neck bone connected to the shoulder bone. And the shoulder bone connected to the hand bone. Connected to the knee bone. Jesus. You understand? We're all one. One body. One body. The head can do what the eye do. And the eye can do what the nose do. And the nose can do with the with the, with the neck and the, 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 the neck can do with the, 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 the head do. And the head can do with the hand do. And the hand can do with the foot do. And the foot can do. You understand? So let us stop this separation. Let us stop this ism and schism. That is petty, it's pettiness. That is petty. You understand? And if you're mature enough, you will know that that is petty. Be matured by the word of God. Live in maturity. Be mature. Be a mature person. Be a mature person. Be the bigger person. Be the better person. <laughs> Be the better person. We're all here to do one thing. And that is the body of Christ. It's for souls. It's, 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 a, it's for souls to come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and as Savior. We are one. We are one. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted thy which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. Maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that he answer walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. You understand? Don't walk in the vanity of your mind. Don't just think of things because your, your, your mind idle and all over the place. Think about the ultimate goal to win souls. Who be 
seen past sealing has given themselves over. But he have not so learned Christ. If so be that he have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. That he put off concerning the former conversation. The old man which is corrupt according to deceitful loss. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. My mind. That he put on the new man. Which after God is created in righteousness. And truth and holiness. I'm not, I'm not here for long. I just come to just encourage us. To support each other. To encourage each other. To keep on the fiery line for God. Because indeed we are one. Jesus' blood makes the difference in you and in me. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. If you're on here and you have not accepted the Lord. Jesus loves you. He has a plan for you. And his plan is to prosper you. And for you to be in good health. Even as your soul prospers. Just remember. That he is. There is. And that he came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I love you with the love of the Lord. We are one. We are one. We are one. Thank you, Jesus.